Hi everyone, this is Jeff Maricola, fantasy artist and illustrator. And in this video, I am testing out a new tool. I have been using a lot of brush pens lately when I do my ink work. And normally I use a Pentel Medium Food brush. I think that's the way it's pronounced. Uh, it's spelled F-U-D-E, pronounced food or FUD or something like that. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. But this time around, I'm using a, a Kiritake brush. Again, I think that's the way it's pronounced. I'm not sure. But it was recommended to me by some people, and so I wanted to give it a try. So here I am in this video giving the Kiritake brush a try. Uh, for those of you out there that have not used brush pens, the bristles on this pen are synthetic. Little plastic strands, I guess. Uh, come together to a nice point and there's a, a cartridge, there's an ink cartridge inside the pen itself that is feeding the ink down through the bristles. And this particular brush pen is, like I said, a little different than the one I have been using for the last maybe, oh, six, seven months. The Pentel food brush that I use, you have to squeeze that a little to get the ink to flow down into the bristles. The pen is kind of soft and squeezable, you know, like me. <laughs> but but this Kiritake brush, uh, the pen itself is, is very hard plastic, so it's not a pen that you can squeeze to, to get the ink to go down. So this must just be a gravity-fed system. As I'm testing out this brush, I'm just doing uh, a variety of different kinds of strokes and whatnot. I mean, you can see that I've colored the background there uh, with the side of the brush, just seeing what kind of coverage I can expect for doing large black areas. And then I'm just having fun. I wasn't even sure what kind of image I was going to create. Uh, you see, I didn't even do a pencil drawing. I'm just sitting here drawing with the brush pen. Wherever the drawing takes me is just where I'm going to go. There's no planning. And the important thing is just, I want to see how the brush feels in my hand. I want to see you know, how the ink reacts as it's leaving the bristles. I can already tell you right away that um, I've gotten pretty used to using the Pentel Food Medium Pen. It's a fatter pen than this one. Uh, physically, but also the ink, the way the ink flows out of the pen is a little bit more restricted than the way the ink flows out of this uh, Kiritake brush pen. I'm on the fence right now whether I like it or not. I've, I've only done a few drawings. I see that it might be a little harder to get dry brushing effects and whatnot. So you can see the brush is normally kind of like to a point. And what I do is I'll try to get as much of the ink off of the brush as I can, pressing down on the side of the brush too, and flattening it out so that I can get rid of that point on the brush and make the, the bristles almost like a rake brush. So it's got some serrated edges. And so there's a minimal amount of ink on the bristles. And then I can do this kind of thing here where I've, I'm just raking across with the brush pen to create a dry brush look. Now it's not long though before the ink continues to flow back into the bristles and my flattened configuration, the flattened rake configuration for the bristles kind of comes to a point again because it's flush with ink. And so I can't do that dry brush effect for very long before I have to force the ink out and flatten out the bristles again if I want to do some dry brushing. I don't have that problem when I was using the Pentel brush pen. Because with that pen, you're in control of squeezing the ink out. I can kind of get that to a nice uh, minimal amount of ink on the bristles to create some dry brush effects. But each brush pen has its own characteristics and its own pros and cons. And I do, I do like this uh, brush pen, certainly. So I'm going to continue using it. I foresee uh, in the future that I just use a combination of brush pens uh, on some of my, my ink drawings, depending on what effects I'm trying to achieve. If I need something that has nice, consistent flow, this is, is definitely a good brush pen for that. Uh, I could see a comic book artist or somebody that wants consistent line weight and things like that using this kind of brush pen. Just testing out some, some feather touch lines, you know, almost like cross hatching and whatnot. And I, I'm less concerned about the image that I'm creating here. Uh, you can see it's just kind of a sketchy mess uh, than I am about just testing out some different line weights and, and again, seeing how the brush feels in my hand. I do want to take a moment to do a shameless self-plug, if I may. I am going to be launching a Kickstarter on November 3rd, 2016 for the creation of an oil painting DVD. Some of you may know from last year I did uh, an acrylic painting DVD that had like six and a half hours of content and more 
uh, on four discs and it was also available as a digital download well i want to do that again but this time with uh, oil painting techniques so for any of you out there that want to learn more about oil painting techniques if you're a beginner or even if you're a professional and you want to branch out and you know learn some new things uh, i've got that going on again it launches november 3rd and i'm hoping that uh, maybe you'll come out and support that uh, for now, since I'll be putting this video up before November 3rd, if you want to get a preview of that Kickstarter and see what's all involved, you can go to fantasyartworkshop.com slash Kickstarter, and it's got all the details and information about what's going to be in my Kickstarter, all the different rewards and whatnot that you can get. And I mention this because some of the rewards that you can get are original ink drawings from me. So, and that's going to be limited to 20 backers for that, uh, for that ink drawing level. If you had any interest in getting an ink drawing from me, that would be your time to do it. All right? All right, let's get back to this now. Most of my life I've done my ink drawings with an actual paintbrush dipped into Black India ink. And I was doing that for a very, very long time until another artist kind of turned me on to these brush pens. That artist was Mark Nelson, legendary artist in the comic community. Uh, once he turned me onto these, I'm kind of, uh, I haven't looked back really. I think I might have done a few drawings with a standard brush dipped into ink, but most of my ink drawings now are done with these brush pens because they allow you to have so much more control. There's a lot of people out there that say they have a problem with the ink from these brush pens uh, drying too slowly and that they put their hands into their, their ink drawings and ruin them a lot. I have not experienced that yet, and I'm thinking maybe it's just because of the surfaces that I'm doing my inking on. I'm either inking on, I'm either inking on a 500 Bristol board, Strathmore Bristol board, or uh, in a sketchbook or something like this. It's a high rag content to these pages, so it's pretty absorbent. And I, I just, the, the ink doesn't sit very long. It, doesn't, it dries rather fast on, on these surfaces that I'm inking on. I've even inked on some watercolor paper as well. And again, that's pretty absorbent. So maybe it just dries real quickly for me. So that's the drawing that I did. A bunch of different strokes and trying some stuff out and really kind of putting the brush through, through the ringer. Did a couple other drawings. Again, just testing out the brush, seeing some different effects that I can pull off. Now, the splattering that you see on this particular ink drawing is not from that brush. Uh, that splattering was done with, with a regular paintbrush dipped into ink and just splattered. If you want to see some more of my drawings, visit my website at jeffmaricolo.com. Also, subscribe to my channel. That would be pretty awesome of you. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.